Hi, my name is Victor Love. I'm a lead application engineer with Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. And today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your SEL 735 revenue meter for the distributed network protocol DMP3 for your SCADA operations. The first thing I'm going to do with the Accelerator Quick Set is I'm going to read a couple of settings that are most important for your DMP setup. And the first one is the communications. We have to choose a port which to communicate on. And the other one is the actual DMP map itself. Well, I'm going to select DMP binary map and I'm going to also select port 2, which is a typical serial communication port for your DMP settings. In some cases, you may use the Ethernet port, which our Ethernet port on the 735 meter supports five sessions of DMP at the same time. Now we're going to go to our port 2 communication settings, and we're going to set this serial port up for our DMP communications. And what we're going to do here, we're going to select DMP protocol, we're going to select the DMP address. Now this is the address for the meter and I'm going to use 10 and we also have an address for the meter to report to. That would be your RTU. I'm going to use 20 just to keep it simple and we've already got map 1 selected. Now that we have our basic port communications established for this meter on port 2, should you ever need any advanced features we can always go to the advanced tab in our settings and select frozen counters for example. So now that we have our port communication set up, we're going to set up our DNP map settings. And I'm going to go to map 1, and I'm going to select the binary input map. There was a couple of interesting things about the binary input map. And what the word input simply means is anything coming from the 735 meter going into the RTU, such as a meter enabled uh, LED uh, status, or the status of the meter or diagnostic. That is something that I'd want to use for the binary input map. But since I'm not going to use the binary input map this time, I'm going to simply check the disable map box at the bottom. There's no need in having my RTU poll a bunch of points that are not necessary. Next we'll look at the binary output map. This might be where I would use remote bits or I'd have the DMP master station send a command out from the master station, the RTU in this case, to the meter maybe to reset the demand at a given interval or on a given date. I'm not going to use that map either, so I'm going to simply check the disable box. I can always come back later and re-enable these map settings if I need to. On the analog input map that I've chosen, I've chosen I want to see power factor on phase A of my power system. I've added that quantity into my analog input map, which has a very scalable value. I'm going to scale it by 1, as we see here, so I have the proper scale setting when that value reaches my RTU. The binary input maps and the analog input maps are all 16-bit maps. The counter input map, however, is a 32-bit. And this is where I want to put my energy quantities in that I want to send my control center. I'm going to deselect most of my energy quantities that I don't need and put back in storage as I've done earlier and deal with just the energy quantities that I want. Now I'm going to move some energy quantities around so that they're in the proper order for my control center. And this is 32 bits, so the important thing to note here on this DMP map, the counter input map, it starts at zeros, increments up to nine nines, and rolls over. So this is a great map to use for your all of your energy inputs. Next, I'll click on the send button and send these settings to our meter. And notice that I can select the port setting, that I need to send, port 2, and my DMP binary input map. Send those two settings to our meter and we're done. As I've demonstrated today, we've set up a complete DMP map in under five minutes in our SEL 735 revenue meter. Thanks for watching.